Welcome back, Rankers. Got a lot of interest in last week's video about pushing to a new site without correctly doing the things that Google loves before you move. If you missed that, please go and see it. I'm surprised at how many people inquired about it. Uh, and all of these sites that we spoke to didn't know beforehand that you had to do all these things before you pushed a new site live or else you lose all your existing rankings. And some people say to me, well, you know, my current site isn't ranking that well. It's ranking for one word on the front page, but that's okay, what could go wrong? Well, what could go wrong is you'll lose that one ranking, okay? Um, anyway, go and check that out if you haven't seen that yet. What I wanted to talk to you about this week was something that I briefly touched on last week that we'd only just seen, and now we're seeing a lot more. And quite frankly, if I had her, if I had hurl, if I had hair, it would probably curl uh, when I uh, when I heard about this. It seems that Google, possibly part of the panda rollout, possibly part of the panda, that was quite good, is de-indexing pages at its own will, at its own whim, if you will. So I got this email last week from Danny Vitalik, and we'd seen this. Oh, Danny, I know I've misspelled, I've mis pronounce your surname, sorry. I was talking to Danny last week, Wednesday night, Wednesday night, shop talk, in at the Honey Bar, great bar, in Melbourne, and we were watching Rosalind Kogan of Kogan.com talk about his success and how he did it and all those sort of, thing, sort of things. If you're in e-commerce, go and check out the shop talk events in your city, because they have some fantastic guests and they're, they're good info. And he was saying, uh, Danny was saying, we're well, just talking about changes in Google. And then on the Thursday morning after this, I got the, um, the email from Danny saying, what the hell has happened in Google this morning? And I said, well, we'd seen this a couple of days earlier with just one of our clients. And I spoke about it in the last week's show. I said that, you know, this client had duplicate pages. They dropped like a rock when the duplicate pages got published. And then when we removed one of those, it came back up. And to show you what I mean by that, here is the ranking today. Here is what it was last week. It was minus, so it's up 152 spots this week, okay, to the front page, number six. So it was way down last week. Now, I mistakenly said on the show that, you know, we fixed it, we removed it. But we didn't. I can't take the credit. You know who can take the credit? Google. Google de-indexed one of those duplicate pages. We didn't do anything. We didn't tell Google to do that. Now, we've since canonicalized that duplicate page. So we're saying to Google, look, this is just another version of the same thing that's over here at this address. Now, why this has big implications is because we've seen it a few times now. We've seen clients drop unexpectedly or go up unexpectedly for certain phrases. And in each case, what we've seen is Google basically de-indexing the page. If you don't know what that means, here, let me show you. You can go and do this yourself at home, by the way. You can go into Google Webmaster Tools. Please say you have Google Webmaster Tools set up. This is the client that was the one in question. This is where they were uh, for pages indexed. And then dropped like a stone, new site went live about, about here, I think it was, about here. Bang, new pages in the index, crawled. And then, hey, we're just going to take the one out. Bang. And then, so here was the ranking drop. Oof. Google takes one page out. Bing! Now, the danger here is, is that you don't know which page Google is going to take out of the index. So if Google is, if this is part of Panda and Google's trying to clean up its index by removing duplicate pages, which one of yours is it going to remove if you have duplicate pages? Now we see this a lot in large e-commerce sites all the time, duplicate pages. How do you check? Well, one of the first things you can do is get into your Google Webmaster Tools Go into, and this is all changed the interface, but it's, it's actually a lot cleaner now in Google Webmaster Tools. Go to Search Appearance. Go to HTML Improvements. And get a site that actually needs some HTML improvements. And you will see, if you have duplicate content, 
chances are you'll see this all lit up in blue saying duplicate title tags and you'll have a number over here. Now this has only got 24, which is sizable for a site that only has 150 pages. That could be a, a quality issue. But if you've got a large e-commerce site, you, get, you may see that in the hundreds. And if you have, you need to clean that up because Google's coming along. It's walking down your street right now uh, like it does with Street View. And it's just taken that page out of the index, this page out of the index, don't need that one, don't need this one. And this has only been going for a week, okay? So we've seen probably five, six instances of this now. And we're starting to see graphs like, once again, you go to your Google index. We're starting to see graphs like this. Now in this client situation, that's actually a good thing. So there's a couple of things that we think may have happened. Google may have actually fixed one of its own things in, in Google called, uh, where are we? All right. So this tool does not work, okay? It works sometimes, it works a little bit. But you can say all you like, Google, hey, don't crawl this parameter, please. Okay, but Google just goes in, sticky nose, has a look around. I know you said don't call it, crawl it, but I thought I'd just have a look and then puts it in the index. So what we think may have happened is Google may have actually fixed this tool so that some of the parameters that we're telling it not to crawl, it actually says, oh, okay, I won't crawl them now. And this has been a problem for yonks. Yonks is a long time, my American friends. Um, but they may have fixed it. But in any case, if you've got duplicate content right now, we saw since the beginning of June in 2013 that duplicate content across the site was causing big issues in rankings with the new Panda rollout. Now we're seeing Google de-index pages that it looks like are actually duplicates. Which ones it chooses to de-index, nobody knows yet. Chances are, I think it'll be the one it finds second. I don't know yet, though. So beware, get your SEO, get your web developer, whoever's in charge of your website, especially if you have a large website, to go and check these things. Or give us a call, we'd love to help. We've actually developed a package because of Penguin and Panda. We've actually de developed a package, it's, it's, co it's called Correcting Unnatural De-Indexing Demotion and Link Exchanges, or C-U-D-D-L-E for short, Cuddle. So if you'd like a cuddle, give us a call. Sorry, I had to do that. Um, they told me not to, probably shouldn't have. Anyway, if you've got issues like this, also the other thing you can do is go and just grab a piece of text off a popular page on your site and Google that, see how many times it comes up. But check and see if you've got duplicate page titles because chances are, if you have, you've got a lot of duplicate content as well. And that is it for this week's show. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you've got them. Give us a like, leave a comment. I'll try to respond to them all like I usually do. See you next week. Thanks. Bye.